Welcome back to Everyone Can Grill. Today I'm cooking armadillo potatoes. Quick, easy, throw them on a grill, forget about them. We'll get started, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, for armadillo potatoes, we're doing two potatoes here. I try to get them where they're kind of flat on one side, like these are. See, that's nice and flat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out like a Hasselback potato. Where we're gonna put it in between two wooden spoons and we're gonna slice down just to the spoon in about a quarter inch or so slices. My knife skills suck so this is a cheater but it works very well and these things come out nice and fluffy when they're done. All right basically we just prepped a Hasselback potato now what I like to do with this is one more step as we turn the potato uh, this way. And now what we're going to do is make it look like an armadillo. We're going to come down on it again, right into, we might lose a little bit, but it happens. Come right down into it again, just right onto the wood. Just like that. There's your armadillo back. See how it opens up? I got butter over here getting nice and good. Now we're going to take a piece of aluminum foil. And let's not get into the debate of shiny side up, shiny side down. It doesn't matter. It ends up right. So take some of this butter and just kind of push it down in there. This works a lot better in the summer. It's like 25 degrees out today. We've had some stupid cold weather here in Northeast Ohio, but I am not going to stay inside and not grill. So there's that. I'm going to throw a little bit of garlic powder, not granulated garlic on these. Like I said, I do all the time. And some black pepper. We're going to take this and wrap it up, just like that. And that's the way to go. I'm going to do the other one. When the grill's ready, we'll throw it on. These are going on first way before anything else because they take the longest to cook. All right, I'm bringing you back here because I just thought of something. Take the butter, go over top of the coals that are getting warmed up. That gets it nice and soft. And look at that. Now it's getting in there just like it should. And I broke a piece off. It's still potato, right? So that made life a whole lot easier. Uh, again, I'll get the re I'll finish prepping this one. Once the grill's ready to go, we'll get these on. They're gonna cook a good hour, maybe hour and a half, so not much to do with this. It'll be a short video today. Okay. Are you ready to see what a ha uh, armadillo potato looks like? Look at the color on the aluminum foil from the rub. That's all it is. Just pretty much a, oh, that's so soft. A baked potato. Take our fork and look at how that just breaks apart like that. That is awesome. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get a little bit of butter because didn't have enough already. So we're going to put a couple of little pieces on here, just like that. A good shot of good sour cream, right smack in the middle. I'm going to hit it with just a quick shot of salt. And there's a Hasselback, or an armadillo potato. I keep wanting to say Hasselback, but it's not. And see how it just breaks apart like a nice mashed potato. That's hot, but... Well, man, it's fluffy. You can taste that garlic in it. Sour cream and everything's just on top of the frosting. 